Welcome to the demo video series for Configure IT. Unleash the hassle-free way to build bug-free mobile apps in the quickest possible turnaround time. In this video, we will go through an overview of backend panel. To begin, log into admin panel and enter the credentials provided by Configure IT by default. You will land up on the site map page. On the left side, clicking on Edit Profile will allow you to add or update the form of the admin or user. Click on Different Modules under the Parent menu to make any changes. Moving back to the Project Dashboard page, Click here to configure database tables. From here, you can add or edit the tables. Click on Add New and enter the unique table name. In our case user details and click on Add. This will ask you to enter the number of fields you want to add in the table. And click on OK. Hereby you can add custom fields that are provided by CIT by default within a click like first name last name email address configure IT allows you to add multiple fields just by a click here it shows the intelligence selection of data type by simply entering the first letter of field name. Once you are done, click on Save and Close. And the table is created. Moving back, you can also copy tables from other projects. Select the project and select required tables and click copy and the table is copied. Click on SQL editor and from here you can run desired query. Moving back to dashboard page click on module management. Click on add new. To add a new module set its name in our case user details select form layout templates and select main table alias in our case user details tables set the module relational table by mapping the foreign keys and click on next the record is added. Now this is a listing page. From here, you can edit specific field settings. Like in line editing for a field. To set an image file, enable it. Enter the folder name. In our case, it will be images. Click Save and Next. To add custom fields, select it. Set the field type to Query. Enter the field name. Query. And update it. You can change the order of the field in module listing by drag and drop. Click on Delete icon to delete the field directly from here. Once done click on Update. Click on Form here. Select the fields to set common settings. In our case select first name and last name. Do the required configuration and save it. You can edit field specific settings from here. Set validations and click on Save and Next to edit the next field.
Similarly, you can set the required configurations on the fields you want. And click on Save and Next. Now, for State field, enable Parent Source. And select Parent Field as Country. Select Conditional Field as Country ID and save the settings. Click on Update. And the form is updated. Moving to Admin Panel, you can view the User Detail Module. Click on it to add or update the form. Enter First Name. Last name. Email. Select desired image. Country. And its state name. And save the form. You can also set static content to be displayed on the form page. Click on update to make the changes in which you can add your HTML content. And update it. In the admin panel, refresh the page to view the applied changes. And here, you can view the static content. Now, for module configuration, Click on it. Here, it shows list of modules. Now for country module, click on form icon. For country module, set a relational module, in our case state. And update the form. Switching to admin panel, under tools menu, select country module. Search for any country, in our case India. Click on it, and here we can view state module as a relation module to country. Here, it will display all states specific to the country, India. Click on copy icon to copy the module. Select the project and its block and click copy. Also you can delete the selected module by a click. Now moving ahead from here. You can navigate to API configuration. Let's configure an API. Click on Add New and enter API name. In our case, user details. Set main operation. It will be select by default. Set input parameters, if any. And click on Next. This is the flowchart interface for API. Configuration. Add Query Block. And select the table. Click Next. Select the fields from the table to get as response. Once done, click on Save and Next. From here, you can apply where condition. Group by condition. Having condition, which are optional. And save the settings. Now add condition block. Select flow as operand 1. And select query. For this specific case, select the operator as equals. And save it. Add finish block to end the flow. And select the message to be displayed. In our case it will be data found successfully. And save the settings. Now we will add a new block to the flow. Right click on it and click on finish. As we are showing this as a case of failure, we will uncheck the query and set success value as zero and message as no data found and save it.
Enter the parameter value as 1. Click on Execute to view API configuration. The output displayed will be in JSON format. Now, change the parameter value to 5. And click on Execute. This will display the output as no data found. So this was an overview on configuring backhand panel in which we saw how to configure tables, modules API, and their respective settings. For more information, visit our help center. Stay connected via support ticket portal or live chat, where our support team will assist you. Keep configuring. Thank you.